Is this you? Do you struggle with push-ups? Are you that one person that can't even do one? The only way you can do them is either by half repping, belly flopping, or doing them from your knees. Sound familiar? Then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the best progression for push-ups for beginners and sharing with you why push-ups are a fundamental exercise that you should be doing and doing right. This progression will help you make progress faster and get you to your goal of mastering push-up. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Lee, and this channel is about helping you reach your fitness goals, focusing on bodyweight training. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when I upload. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. So before we begin, what are the benefits of push-ups and why should you be doing them? Push-ups are one of the best exercises for building strength and endurance in the upper body, but when done properly, it engages the whole body. It's an exercise that you can do anytime, anywhere, and since it's a bodyweight exercise, it's a true functional move. There's a reason why armed forces use push-ups in their selection tests, as it's a true way of determining strength, muscular endurance, balance, stability, and coordination. This is why I'm making this video, as I want you to reap the benefits of this fantastic exercise. So the common regression to the push-up is to do it from the knees. It makes sense. You're reducing the load on the arms, changing the angle to gravity, making it easier to do the exercise. The problem with this regression is it doesn't replicate the push-up properly, and while it uses the main concentric muscles, i.e. the chest, shoulders, and triceps, it doesn't recruit the core and lower body much, if at all. The way to make it progressive is harder as well. The push-up, if done right, can and should engage the whole body. Don't just think chest, shoulders, and triceps. You should be thinking feet, quads, ham, glutes, core, back, even squeezing the floor with your hand. The problem with doing it from the knees, you can't engage your lower body, and it puts your lower back in a bad position, i.e. you're arching it. Plus, when you try normal push-ups, you haven't built the strength, balance, and stability, even the mind-muscle connections in your core and legs that you need to do proper push-ups and you need to improve. To get good at anything, you need to repeat it over and over again and allow your central nervous system to get fine-tuned and recruit the right muscles at the right time and place tension in those muscles. You do not want to um, create energy leaks in the kinetic chain, as this leads to wasted energy, poor form, and places muscle muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints in a bad place. Think pulling a slack rope compared to pulling a taut rope. Make your body like a taut rope. By engaging all the muscles and transferring energy through your core from your feet to your hands, this will greatly improve your performance while making it safer. So the progression for doing push-ups is to change the angle that your body is at. It will either make it harder or easier. The more vertical you are, the easier, and the more horizontal, the harder, and closer you get to the full push-up. This way, you are able to do push-ups with proper form, engage the upper and lower body together, teach the central nervous system efficient movement patterns that will transfer towards the full push-up better than doing it from your knees. If you have a pull-up mate, you can use the angle bars to adjust your difficulty. Again, if it gets too hard and you're stuck, you can change the angle and go more vertical and place more of the emphasis of the weight onto your feet. You can even use tabletops and go lower as you get stronger. Chairs are also a great option as there are many different heights, plus you're able to improve the range of motion as the floor is no longer a barrier. Improving the range of motion is another way in which you can make an exercise harder, but a full range of motion is a must in any exercise and you should always adhere to this. Half reps will get you nowhere. You're only cheating yourself. Using parallettes is another option as they come in different heights and also allow you to get a deeper range of motion. The final place are stairs. You have many different levels in which you can go and obviously the stronger that you get, you can move down the steps. If you're finding that an exercise is too hard at a certain angle, you can just go further up. The more you go down, the harder it gets and the more you get closer to your full push-up position. Staying at a certain angle for at least 20 reps for three sets with 90 seconds to two minutes rest. Do not rush this. Truly reap the benefits of each phase and you will continue to make progress easier and for longer. There is no rush. Take your time and enjoy the journey. So give this a go and let me know how you get on. This is probably, in my opinion, the best way to progress with push-ups. Um, if you like the pull-up, mate, or any other parallels that you've seen in this video, don't forget to check the link down in the description below. And I will be making a video in the future as well on how you can reach your first pull-up and different progressions and regressions with that exercise exercise as well because just like the push-up it is a key fundamental exercise that everyone should be doing with that out of the way i will see you in the next video